Matthew Stuckey here from Verity Baptist Church, Philippines, and I wanted to give you a quick missionary update. Uh, this past week, we had a really successful week with soul winning. We had 157 salvations, and uh, it was it was just a normal week. Uh, people did a lot of soul winning during the week. We had good results um, on our main soul winning times and everything. And um, it was a pretty busy week. We we finished moving into our new building in Angeles in Pampanga. So I took a lot of work, and we got that done just in time to have our services on Saturday. And so uh, we had great soul winning on Saturday um, in in the park nearby our church building, which um, we figured this change in location would help us with um, our soul winning numbers. And we're anxious to hit the neighborhoods here this these coming weeks to see um, how it is in the neighborhoods as well. We even went to the park yesterday, which will be in next week's missionary update. We had 11 salvations yesterday. So it just seems like a great um, location for us for soul winning, so we're excited about that. And uh, in terms of sermons preached, um, on Wednesday, Brother Ehrman preached for us and he, uh, about uh, holding your heart in your right hand, and he did a great job there. And um, on Sunday, I preached uh, two sermons. One was on false philosophies with philosophies like Hinduism and Greek mythology. They talk about searching after wisdom, which the problem is they're searching after wisdom apart from God's word, which is where wisdom is. And knowledge and truth actually is and so they end up at the opposite and they end up you know just having crazy beliefs and then i preached on um you know the the myth of ancient polytheism and so i, I really like that sermon i've been excited to preach it it's a pretty in-depth sermon i quoted from a lot of cultures and a lot of ancient religions and i kind of showed in the sermon that that polytheism has really never existed like people think it has and the world has always been monotheistic, but what we have seen is people having strange views on the nature of God, such as in the Christian realm, you've got the oneness crowd. You know, the oneness Pentecostals are kind of famous for this, but uh, we have some religions here that are oneness that are not necessarily Pentecostal, but they have a lot of strange beliefs. And then even in the Baptists in the last several years, you've seen some churches reject the Trinity and go to oneness where they believe that you know you have one God who chooses to manifest himself in three different ways. That's actually exactly like Hinduism. The difference is in Hinduism, God chose to manifest himself in 300 million different ways. And then you have avatars of those manifestations. So the Hindus actually believe in a monotheistic God. And when you look at these ancient cultures like Greece and Assyria and Babylon, they have strange views on the nature of God. Or you look at voodoo, some of the African religions. They have strange views on the nature of God. They actually believe in a monotheistic God. They just believe in a oneness type or some other strange variation. So it's kind of important because next week I'll finish this. It's like a two-part series. I'll talk about the end times implications of oneness heresy. So I'll tie that all together. So overall, things are going well. We're glad to be moved into the building. Um, it's been pretty crazy ever since my family moved to Pampanga just because we're moving into the new building getting everything ready. Now we're kind of back to a normal schedule, so we uh, hope and expect to be able to have increased amount of soul winning. Uh, one drawback right now, though, is we are entering rainy season. So, so far it hasn't really affected us during soul winning times, which God has seemed to bless us these, these years that we've been here in the Philippines with um, it being pretty dry during soul winning time, and oftentimes it rains right after soul winning. So we're hoping for that as well, and so overall things are going uh, really well. And just continue to pray for us. Um, the restrictions are less than they used to be, and there are rumors of things lightening up. But uh, we also hear a lot of things in the news about concerns about variants of COVID, so it's hard to tell what's going to happen in the future. But overall, things are going great, and just continue to pray for our ministry. And thank you, and God bless.